Mrs. Small here. We are going to read a story about a manatee, Sam the Sea Cow. This is a book by Francis Jacobs, illustrated by Laura Kelly. Let's get started. Sam the Sea Cow. Spring comes to southern Florida. A huge gray animal moves slowly down a river toward the sea. It is a shy, harmless manatee. On her broad back, the manatee carries a brand new calf just born. He is three feet long and weighs 40 pounds. His name will be Sam. The manatee rises so her calf's head is above the water. The calf breathes in. Ashoo! He breathes out. Even though a manatee lives in the water, it breathes air just like you and me. Minutes go by. Sam stays on his mother's back. She ducks him. Blub, blub, blub. He bubbles. Sam must hold his breath. His mother lifts him into the air again. Shoof! He snorts, happy for a breath. His mother ducks him once more. They practice this way until Sam breathes in the air and holds his breath underwater. Manatees nurse their young in the water. Sam finds a place beneath his mother's flipper. When he's hungry, he sucks her warm milk. Manatees are mammals, like whales and dolphins. Mammals feed their babies milk from a special part of their body called mammary glands. Sam follows his mother. She swims with her big tail. It is round and flat like a paddle. Up and down it goes. Sam swims with his two flippers. They are shaped like mittens. He will learn to use his tail later. Sam looks like his mother. He has little round eyes and a small head. He hears sounds, but he has no outer ears. Sam's body is almost hairless. It is shaped like a big pear. Chapter 2 Sam stays near his mother for months, but one day Sam hears a strange noise. Grrr. Sam is curious. He lifts his head to look, but he can't see far, not more than a foot. His mother squeals to warn him. Bam! Too late. A motorboat hits Sam. The propeller cuts him. Sam tumbles over and over. Surely he will drown. But his mother catches him just in time. She lifts him up to breathe. Motorboats are manatees' worst enemies. Boo! Motorboats! Luckily, Sam's skin is thick and tough. His wound heals, but leaves a scar between his eyes. It will be there for the rest of his life. Poor Sam. Sam and his mother swim out to the sea. Months go by. It is fall. They move back up a river to warmer waters. Mangrove trees grow thickly along the banks. Small, slippery mullet fish leap in front of them. Alligators snooze on the shore. Long-legged herons wade in the mud. A heron is a bird. Here. Listen. Sam is old enough now to eat plants like other manatees. He finds a bed of water hyacinth. Mmm, they taste good. Manatees graze on floating hyacinth like cows in a pasture. Sam pokes his whiskered face into the plants. He tugs at them with the two sides of his divided upper lip. 
He pulls them into his mouth. Munch, munch, munch. His flat teeth crush and grind the hyacinth. Sam needs a lot of plants to feed his growing body. He eats many pounds of plants each day. Sam gets rounder and bigger. Sam rests when he is tired. He floats near the surface or lies on the river bottom. But he can't stay down more than five minutes. He must come up to breathe. Sometimes Sam pops up near fishing boats and surprises the fisherman. This is a fisherwoman, a girl. <laughs> Take a look. Chapter 3. Sam leaves his mother when he is two years old. He goes off on his own. Like other manatees, he spends the next few years swimming along the seacoast in the warm months and returning to the rivers in the cooler season. When Sam isn't eating, he goes exploring. He swims around wooden pilings. He searches under old piers. He squeezes his big body through narrow places. One day, Sam swims off into a canal. He finds a new place to explore. It is a big round cement pipe. He flips his tail, he pushes with his flippers, he wiggles and twists, he squirms half in, but then he can't get out again. Sam is stuck in a sewer drain. Uh-oh. People hear Sam's cry. He is bruised, bleeding, and weak. They try to help him, but Sam is too big. Sam is nine feet long. He weighs as much as eight people. Sam can't be moved from the drain. So there he stays, half in, half out. He gets hungry and grows weaker. Poor Sam, he's getting in all kinds of trouble. More people come. Boys and girls run to see the stuck manatee. Newspaper people come too. But no one can budge poor Sam. They call the sea aquarium. Men come with trucks. They pull Sam out of the sewer drain and onto a stretcher. A crane lifts the stretcher and lowers Sam carefully onto a padded truck. It will take Sam to the sea aquarium. The newspaper people call him Sewer Sam. Goodbye, Sewer Sam, the boys and the girls call. Sam has a new home now. He lives in a round cement pool. Keepers care for Sam. They feed him lettuce leaves and bananas. Soon Sam is feeling well again. He swims around and around the pool. But there is nothing for him to explore here. Hmm. Visitors come to see the sea aquarium. They come to see the killer whales dance on their tails. They come to see the dolphins jump through the hoops. They come to see the sea lions catch and balance balls. Hardly anyone comes to see Sam. Sam cannot do any tricks. Chapter 4 A year passes slowly. The keepers think Sam is lonely. They put him in another pool so he can have company. Two other manatees live there. Sam follows them around and around. But they are happy together and they don't want Sam. Poor Sam! The keepers finally decide to return him to a river. Will Sam remember how to live in a river after so much time in the sea aquarium? The keepers slip a stretcher under Sam. They fold his flippers in so they won't get hurt. Sam is lifted out of the pool and onto a soft padded box. He is covered with moist cloths. Good luck, Sam. We'll miss you, a keeper calls. Sam is lifted to a truck and taken to an airplane. The pilot flies Sam to Crystal River, 600 miles away. 
Many manatees spend the winter in the warm waters there. Sam has never flown before, but he is calm and still, even when he is sprayed with water to keep his skin wet. Sam is lowered into the water. Men in rubber suits help Sam out of the box. They swim with him, but Sam tries to hide from them in a clump of weeds. What's this? Food? Munch, munch, munch. Sam eats the weeds. Days pass. The men watch over Sam. He seems happy to be free again. Other manatees are swimming in the river. Eep, 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 Sam calls them. He flips his tail and swims to them. One manatee turns to face Sam. He puts his snout right up to Sam's. They rub noses. They rub whiskers. The manatees begin to twist and roll. They pop up and down. They play follow the leader. They swim off together. Goodbye, Sam. Oh, he's happy now. Here he is, swimming away, having fun now. What a great story. Here's another picture of Sam. In the back of the book, there's more information on manatees. If you want to contact the Manatee Club, here's the number. I like that story. I hope you did too. Thanks for listening, friends. Bye. I wonder what's up next.